Last week, I've seen something very interesting. Thirty-one seconds per half face. What it also says here is your primer, concealer, and setting in one go. Hence, I bought this one. That's it. It come with the little brush that this lovely lady used in her TikTok as well. It's not that big. It's also said it's friendly for sensitive skins as the ingredients they use are minerals, so it's shouldn't irritate your skin. I'm, I'm just very intrigued to see the result. It just looks too miracle. There is a lid. Oh, I did the same. Let's get this bit. It also says it contains SPF 17 PA2+. You know, I'm a little bit hesitate of doing buffing motions because it's just so easy to get the dry patches and, uh, you know, unevenness and cakey, so we shall see. My current face had nothing but sunblock. Skincare, then finish it with sunblock, that's it. Here's my current skin condition. Yeah, all she did was just buff. Let's see. Maybe I didn't put enough. It didn't seem to have that high coverage as she shown in her video. Okay. It's not cakey, but very uneven. You see, it, it pretty much just stayed in this part where I buff it in first, and most of powder seems just stayed in here. It's not as high coverage as is shown in the video. Mm, okay, this side I'm going to try with a puff instead of a brush. Okay, from finishing perspective, both sides are very, very similar. Is my, my biggest challenge is not only about the coverage, but when I look into the details, the finishing is literally just like you used a very, very normal powder. There is nothing special, no kind of pore minimizing. Let me, and let's see this side. See the pores? Still very visible. See over here as well. There is no type of like a flawless finish per se. You know, while I leave a little bit of distance, can you see the, the patches? Like on my cheek is pretty much just here. And the rest are just you know, very uneven. It's very weird happening to a powder product because powder should be much easier to be spread out. And you know what, let me quickly use Floris this one just, just to show you guys the expectation of mine Especially watching quite a lot of videos about this one This, you know, mineral powder I think is similar as Floris one It's like a tinted powder It technically should deliver something very similar Okay, I use on this side so you guys can see the difference Can you see the blur effect? Can you see the difference compared to here? And you can straight away see this side is way much more smoother. That's the, you know, the kind of outcome I was expecting from 
this one as this side I've done with floors so this side I'm going to give a one more chance one more chance to this powder and let's see if it makes any difference down like third layer and can you guys see here it all cakes up already compared to here and it has a weird reflection that after you melt in with a little bit of face oil I don't I don't have too much face oil on at the moment but this side in particular it just has a very weird wrong reflection not like this side you, you look and feel smooth and this side is uh, ah you know what I have to remove half face as I do need to go out today so if you are interested in this type of powder I would highly recommend the florist this tinted press powder instead this one is way much more self-depending. It's not depending on any tools, applying techniques, or the base of your skin. It doesn't rely on any of that. It just performs steadily on its own to return you a very natural, even skin toned finishing. Any of you tried this powder? If you did, could you please, please let me know does it work for you? And if it does, uh, could you please let me know what techniques or the tools you actually used? I'm so intrigued to know. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I see you on my next video. So don't forget to subscribe.